Howdy folks, we're trying something a little different today, uh, since I'm kind of bored in the hotel room for right now. <laughs> um, with the internet, you know, I, I like to look at different articles. Usually, uh, usually these are things that Becky and I will read to each other, or we'll do like different voices with them, because they're dealing with people who are really kind of stupid. Stupid or insane or just plain people who want to take the piss out of, basically. Um, this particular article I'm looking at today, um, yeah, and 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 uh, and and I'll give you another reason why I'm going to be doing this. Not just because I want to take the well, I don't want to take the piss out of the site that posted the article because they're actually a good site, but um, but I do want to try out different like voice modulations with it and everything um, to kind of augment my voices and all of that. Um, I, I know I'm going to be doing that for like the uh, you know the the Undertale stuff from here on out. Uh, I, I would need it with Flatway, for example. <laughs> um, so uh, this will this will be just a little something, like, you know, just a little throw out there. Um, uh, the site I got this from is from uh, wehuntofthemammoth.com. Um, what they do is they is they they they, they find you know, misogynistic pieces of shit, and they'll do articles on them and everything. Um, figured, you know what, read one, it, it might be, it might be a good thing. I, I'll probably insert my own thoughts here and there. Um, and, and, I'll, and again, it, it's also going to test for, like, modulation, you know, voice changes, audio editing, all that good stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you're from We Hunted the Mammoth, <laughs> uh, you're, you're, you're my guinea pig, <laughs> sort of, I guess. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and, and the link to the article I'm going to be reading from is going to be in the doobly-doo. I'm, I'm, I'll make sure of that. In fact, right now, I, I have a little notepad file open. I'm slapping it right in there right now on camera. <laughs> because it's just that, just that insane. Uh, this is posted actually today. Uh, today being uh, August 14th. Um, and, and it is an article called, uh, Roosh, Hillary will usher in a techno matriarchy and ban talking to women in public. I sense a lot of you are already laughing because <laughs> it's just that stupid. Mm. Watch me get content ID flagged for my Coke. <laughs> uh, probably not. Uh, although if I do, I will show it off and I will laugh. Um, so at any rate, again, I'm not making fun of the writer of this article on uh, wehunderthemammoth.com. They're doing, they're doing, they're doing good work. They, they're good people there. Um, it's just <laughs> I gotta share this. And what better way to test it than this than to share some, some, you know, really, really horrible shit that other people have shared and commented on. Again, I'll probably add my own in here and there. <clears throat> so here we go. With their god emperor way down in the polls, some of Trump's most enthusiastic supporters are beginning to face the fact that Hillary Clinton will quite likely be the next president of the United States. Or should I say, the next techno-matriarch? I, I have questions. Number one, what the hell is a techno-matriarch? Is, is it a woman that run, runs a, a, an ISP? Is it a woman who runs a network of computers? I, I, I don't... I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, you know, somebody tell me. <laughs> uh, in a post on Return of Kings, oh, those fuckers. Uh, if you've listened to my show, A Constructive Deconstruction, I, I spent like a few episodes just to kind of reaming those guys because they're just, they're, they're horrible over there. Um, Trump supporter and ironic rape legalization promoter Roosh V, here to know, here heretofore being referred to as Rushi Boy by me, by me personally, warns his Trump-happy readers that if the Donald doesn't win in November, Hillary Clinton will usher in a new dark age for dudes. I don't think she has that kind of power, honestly. And I don't know why I was looking around. <laughs> that, was, oh, that, was, that was a weird thing. <clears throat> and here comes the voice modulation. So here we go. Negatively affected under a Hillary president. Oh, really? Well, I guess I just step out of the way. Just oh, the there's a boot. Is fast approaching our faces. There, that's how, you, that's how you do that. After assuming office, President Hillary Clinton will. <clears throat> Again. 
There's a reason why I'm naming this modulation Conspiracy Neighborhood. I mean, I might turn to my new character and do some more cool creature things, I don't know. A few laws will ban men from doing men things, like pestering women they don't know on the street. Guys, don't do this. Do not pester women on the street. No. Just... And, and, and this is coming from somebody who used to do that. And about the tenth time I got maced, I said, uh, yeah, this is not worth it. No. <laughs> yeah, short disclaimer, I never got maced, but still, it's not worth it. I can't read in that voice, apparently. Rushi boy. Rushi boy. I'm sure you or one of your cronies is seeing this because I'm pretty sure you have some some guys out there, and I know they're guys, that just look on YouTube for all sorts of things having to do with Return of Kings. I mean, that's how we, that's how we attracted the, 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 the attention of Tooth Moses a couple of years ago. Okay? <laughs> just saying. You know, you're probably looking it up because... Same job, same qualifications, same pay. And that's how it should be. And I know there are companies that already practice this. Good for them. Any laws like that are to force all companies to do that because it's fair. Ah. Meanwhile, these those brave souls like Rushi Boy, who speak up against the new girl order. <laughs> New girl order. I love it. <laughs> oh. Next thing you know, Rushi Boy is going to hop on the Davis Arena train and say that women can never be Ghostbusters. They grow up to run Etsy stores. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. And that's the exact that's the exact reaction of this article writer too. Wait, what? <laughs> to anyone who's so 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 wait 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 they target to impoverish, imprison, impoverish and imprison and break down people who think like these fuckers at Return of Kings. Really? 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 No, no. Just wow. You know, here, here's the thing. People don't like Donald Trump because he's a raging asshole. People don't like Donald Trump because he is a sexist, racist piece of shit. Okay? And if you're supporting him, then that tells me you're supporting racism and sexism and being a piece of shit. That's how I see it. And I know somebody's going to be like, well, he says what we're all feeling. Well, that's kind of a problem. If he's saying what you're feeling, then what you're feeling is, is uh, kind of backwards. Just saying, you know? It's, you're just kind of backwards a little bit there. Ah, or, or, or the people who are like, oh, he, he says what he feels. He, he doesn't censor himself. It's like, motherfucker, you listen to Bernie Sanders at all? I mean, he, 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 you know, he's not on TV saying the seven words you can't say on television, but he's not, neither was he pulling punches. But that's a whole different video. 
Uh, sorry, my head is still spinning a little from Roosh Boy's quick slide from countering the narrative to literally launching an armed revolution against a freely elected government. Yeah, there is that too. Because, of course, any guy's response to something he doesn't like, he has to attack it physically. And I admit I've fallen into that myself. I try to keep it in the hyperbole whenever I do so people don't take it seriously. Or at least I hope they don't. But I have been guilty of it as well. And I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody has, male or female, but you know this you know the, the stereotype is the guy, you know. Oh, I don't like that. Pfft. No. Uh, uh shooting people because you don't like the results of a free and fair election is not a form of free speech. Agreed. That is not free speech. That is oh, what is that word? There is a word for doing things like that. For shooting people who don't agree with you. And, and basically terrorizing them, scaring them, if you will, in, into, in, in, into uh, agreeing with you and doing what you want. But Bush Boy still hold that hope that a Matri Hillary Arky... <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that. Matri Hillary Arky. <laughs> That's a little... Wow. So, if Trump wins... He holds out hope that it will be avoided. If Trump wins, he declares... has political office, but he's not running for the presidency. And he has a current successful business right now. Again, he's not running for president. And if he did, I would have to wonder what the hell is wrong with him. Because that's so out of character. Ah. But, but Trump as a patriarchal role model, are you bent? That's... Ah. Just... You are an idiot. You are an idiot, Mr. I want I, I, I sincerely want to legalize rape. I, I'm not going to let that one go. Uh, in Trump's America, Rouge Boy will be able to get back to what he does best, advising men how to date rape women after giving them a fake name or, or meet possible future wives. We all know it's the date rape. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's just be honest. Uh, What the fuck is pair bonding? Dude, just just be out with it. You want to help men rape women. There you do. There you go. You know? Oh, God. <laughs> and watch this be the one that blows up on my YouTube because I say that. Because some some thin-skinned MRA from Return of Kings comes on like, Oh, no, 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 no. And it's like, you know what? Fuck you. What is masculinity in, in this case? Because I have a feeling there's not one set definition of masculinity. You know, masculinity could be a guy in flannel and walking around looking like a goddamn lumberjack. You know, that's one. You know, that, that could be masculinity. And in and of itself, it's harmless because, you know, masculinity could be a guy who just basically likes to show off his athletic prowess. You know, I can bench press 500 pound women at it time, you know. I, I don't know where I was going with that. You know, you know, her, you know, like you, like the dumb jocks in the movies. You know, there's that. You know, there's also the masculinity that just likes to sit around, itch himself, and watch baseball and football and drink beer, you know. there, There's another example. Or you can have guys like me who just goes, tries to go about his daily business, treats people with respect, and doesn't give a damn if his shirt is pink. Hillary cannot be elected soon enough, according to this article. I, I'm, I'm ambivalent about her at best, but that's, a, that's for another video. 
Also, FYI, I've also been speaking to the same insiders who understand the globalist master plan that Roosh boasts that he's been speaking to, and they have revealed to me that in the coming techno-matriarchy, all men will be forced to do weird rant dance routines under the super supervision of girls in referee outfits. They even showed me footage of one secret training camp, and, and I'm not going to play the video and show it here. Um, just look for a video called The Knife, A Tooth for an Eye, and that's what you'll get. But uh, you know what? A dance camp? That would be fun. Because <laughs> I've, I've been in stage musicals before. Those are fun as shit, man. Uh, very physically demanding, but they're fun. Uh, but yeah, that is that is it for this article. Again, like I said, I wanted to just share that with you guys, get some of my thoughts out there. Also do some audio editing testing here. <laughs> so um, um, here and there. Um, but yeah, it's... It's it's a thing. I don't even know who actually wrote this. It doesn't say the name. So, uh, but yeah. And at, at, at any rate, again, the uh, link will be there in the doobly doo. Sorry for that weird, awkward pause there. Um, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, Roosh boy, you 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 know. Do you want do you do you want a binky Roosh boy? Do you want a binky in a blanket? Do you? Do you? Okay. We'll give you a binky and a blanket. It'll, it'll have all the naked women. And in fact, the binky will even look like a tit. Okay? We'll get you a titty binky. We'll put that in your mouth. We'll give you a blanket with a naked woman on it. That way you that way you can look at it and masturbate without having to, you know, move anything. That's fine. Um, and, we'll, and we'll make sure it's very durable and machine washable. In fact, we'll even give you a few of those. Because at least then, you'll be doing that instead of spreading this fucking filth into our world. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this could get me in trouble. I don't care. Uh, but yeah. Um, um. <laughs> Content aside, let me know how you guys like the uh, voice modulating. Um, and, and of course, you know, if you're gonna comment on it, be civil, please, or or at least as civil as I've been. <laughs> oh, take care, everybody, and until next time. This is Gomer, the ranting thespian, signing off.